What's up y'all, it's Nasia from All Things Nasia and I'm back with another video. So what's up my lovely people? I am back with another cricket video y'all. I told you guys I would be back very soon. And today's video is a good video for beginners to watch. So come on in beginners. Let's go. For this video, I actually did hit my local Dollar Tree and I was just basically trying to look for some things that I could use in order to use as cricket blanks to gift to people for Valentine's Day because you know Valentine's Day is coming up and they had a lot of things that you could use for the crickets so I decided to go see what I could find so before I get started with how I'm going to you know personalize some of these products I am actually going to show you guys some of the tools that you could actually be using if you don't have money you know to continue to buy Cricut tools Dollar Tree has Cricut tools also so let me show you guys some of them so this one is actually a piercing and scoring tool set so this is what it looks like and as you know everything at Dollar Tree is a dollar eight in New York because the tax is eight cents but a dollar so this is what the piercing and scoring tool set looks like and it's by the brand crafter square so they have a whole crafting section now in dollar tree so that you can get your craft on sis or bro so this is what it looks like and it's basically a very sharp tool set so i'm going to be trying to use some of these tools while i'm actually using my cricut today so that is that and this next one is a roller cutter i did actually just purchase a you know fiskers cutting self-healing um mat and I don't have a roller cutter yet so I do need to actually go purchase one but I did go and get one from Dollar Tree and this is what it looks like and it can be used for paper or fabric so they said that the blade is very sharp so I'm excited to see how well this will go over using my projects and I was very excited for this one because if you guys know I have been spending my money on the crifting on the Cricut crafting knives and those can get a little bit pricey but this one is called the Scraptility knife set from Crafter Square and it actually has different heads that you could use onto the knife and basically this looks like an exacto knife it looks exactly like an exacto knife and it has the different types of blades that you can use with it so I will be trying to use these also during my project so now that you've seen some of the tools that you can use with your Cricut that you can already get for a dollar let's see what type of gifts we can get for a dollar at Dollar Tree so for the sake of this video I did pick up three different types of blanks so these can all be used to put vinyl on and today I will be using both iron-on vinyl and premium vinyl so here are the three things that I picked so the first thing that I picked up was fashion masks so these are reusable adult masks. I did get them in three different colors just to give me a little bit of variety. But for the sake of this being a Valentine's Day video, of course, I'm going to use the pink one. So these are for adults and they are a dollar at Dollar Tree. These, I think, are actually made out of polyester. So when you're using polyester, you cannot use Cricut iron on vinyl because Cricut iron on vinyl only adheres to full cotton. But I actually did pick up some sizer vinyl. So I will be using the sizer vinyl in order to iron on for this. This will be my only iron on project for this video because I'm trying to get a little bit more into premium vinyl. So when it comes to premium vinyl, I did pick up two different projects. I do have the iPhone XS Max and this is actually a case that I got from somebody in my city. Her name is TT. Her her um, business name is Designs by TT so I will put her stuff in the description bar below and this is just a photo of me and my father and this is very good quality. This is not just like a little picture. This is actually in the case so I actually love this case but you can buy blank cases at Dollar Tree so I did find this in the phone section um, and it's from the brand e -Circ it. so I'm going to be showing you guys how you can use premium vinyl in order to decorate this beauty right here and I also did pick up this cute bottle I did get the last one so I'm not the only one who thought that you can really get some cute projects using this so this is basically I don't even know how to explain it but it's giving me like galaxy vibe so I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna see what color vinyl I can put on there to really make it a cute project so if you guys are excited to see me use these items to make very cool projects 
projects, please just keep on watching. So here I am, you guys, up close and personal as I always come to you guys. So, um, excuse me if my screen's a little, like, crooked or lopsided. I'm using my camera today, and I usually use my phone. It's just a lot easier for me, but this is what I'm going to be doing. <clears throat> so, as you can see, they already have a whole bunch of Cric Cricut Access, you know, Valentine's Day projects. So I'm going to go to New Project. Then I'm going to go to images. So right here, I'm just going to type in Valentine's and just see what I can find. I'm actually looking for three different projects. So <clears throat> here are some of them. So I'm going to pick this and type and in, put insert image now as you guys know I do like to zoom in a little bit even though I'm not making the project bigger I'm going to be making it bigger for me pink and red are obviously the Valentine's Day colors so I'm just going to click this whole project then I'm going to click this unlock button then go over here and type in 2.5 and then type in 2.5 again and then press enter. So this will be the actual size of the project. Then I'm going to click make it. Today I will be using my Cricut Maker. So when you are doing iron-on projects, you want to make sure that you mirror that image. So even when it's mirrored, it's the same exact project. Then press continue. I am going to be connecting to not my ear to but let me go back. Here's a mistake I already made. Press cancel. Yes, cancel the cut. And then I want to make sure that I specify that I am using my maker. Click up here and press Cricut Maker. Then press make it and then make sure you mirror the image again and then press continue. I'm going to be using Sizer Glitter HTV. Like I said, Sizer vinyl can adhere to polyester as well as 100% cotton. So this would be a good project for Sizer vinyl. I find that Cricut vinyl only adheres to cotton when it comes to iron on at least. So I'm going to go right here and then I'm going to type in glitter. And it's going to say glitter iron on. Click that. Press done. So I've gone ahead and turned on my heat press <clears throat> and I'm going to be using my scissors in order to just, you know, make a small selection of the vinyl because like I said, I just did two and a half by two and a half. I'm just going to be cutting that out, you know, as best as I can. I do find that with glittered vinyl it's best to use your strong mats i just feel like it has a better grip it's just my opinion that's not exactly a fact but it's just something that i've come along with so i'm going to this is a fresh mat satisfying and i'm just going to put this right here as you can see, it's more than enough. I did put it shiny side down as you need to do all at all times when you are using iron-on vinyls. Then I'm going to load it into the Cricut. Like I told you guys, I am going to be using the Dollar Tree piercing and scoring set. So I'm just going to figure out where the project is and just, you know, Cut it out just to save me some time and make my job even easier.
so this is what it is looking like guys now i'm going to go ahead and go over to the heat press and open this mask up and press it on so this is what the mask looks like and i'm going to be putting the project right here just like that so now that i have that right there i'm literally just going to swing this around and press it for about 10 seconds Now that I've peeled it off with ease, I'm going to just press it for another five seconds. And I do have it on heavy pressure. So this is a small item. You don't really need to press it for very long. And this is what it looks like. Very quick and easy project, guys. Dollar Tree Cricut Projects. So this is going to be a little bit different because I'm going to be using premium vinyl for this project. So in this project, this is going to be the phone case. So I'm actually making this case for me. So I'm going to start off with just a shape. And you know, obviously, Valentine's Day is all about the hearts. My phone case is exactly three inches, a little bit over three inches wide. So I'm going to actually press that um, unlock button and make sure I just make sure that it's at three and then I'm going to turn this height to five. So yes, it's going to be a long heart, but it's okay because I'm going to be putting my name in there. So with text, I'm going to go to text and then go to Cricut over here. Then go through some of these fonts. So I'm going to be choosing this font called Chicken Pie, and then I'm going to do all caps, and then I'm going to put all, then enter things, and then enter Nasia. Then I'm going to go over here and put alignment and choose center. Then I'm going to actually move this out of the way and go over here and click the heart and change this color to pink because... That is the color of vinyl I'm going to be using. And I just want to be able to see exactly what I'm doing. So I'm going to put all things Nasia right here. And then line it up just to make sure that it fits. And no, we are not keeping this this color. Because what I'm going to do is highlight the whole project. So go over here. Highlight this whole project and let go. Then go over here and press slice. And what's that going to do? That's going to slice all things Nasia right on out of that heart. So we're going to get rid of what was sliced. We're going to get rid of what we used to slice. And this is the final project. Now with this project, we're going to click make it. <clears throat> hey, y'all. So I'm going to be using this Cricut Premium Vinyl. So let me get that opened. And when you're using premium vinyl, you do not need to mirror your image, but you will need to be using A, the vinyl, and you will need transfer paper. Sorry. Press continue and move this out of the way and grab your mat. Once again, I am using the Strong Grip 12 by 12 mat. So my project is not that big, so I'm going to just cut out as much as I will need using my Cricut scissors again. And I'm going to go ahead and put that right on there. So it's not way too much, but it's enough. Then, of course, I'm going to press the load button. Then I, you know I love fast mode, so I'm going to get fast mode. And then press the blinking cricket button. Then it's going to go ahead and start. In the meantime, I'm going to get out my transfer tape. I do have Cricut Joy transfer tape, but it's the same thing. It's going to do the same exact thing that the regular roll would do. They just didn't have any more when I went to Walmart. I should have went to Michael's, but hey. 
Now I'm going to remove the negative spaces using this, again, this Dollar Tree tool set. So this is what the project looks like after I weeded everything. So now what I'm going to do is take my transfer tape and remove the backing off of it. And I actually like to put it on the side that's not sticky. So you see it's not sticky, it's moving around. Then turn the project over and stick it on there. Like this. Then I'm going to go and use my little scraper tool and scrape the back of the project first. I find that scraping both sides of the project does help it adhere to the transfer tape much better. Then I'm going to turn the transfer tape over and just really make sure that I'm getting it on there well. Scraping it pretty hard. I'm going to peel the transfer tape. And like what I like to do is just Peel it at an angle like that and it always seems to come off easier that way. <clears throat> then I'm going to make sure that I center my project. Under the camera. And set it on like that. Then take my little scraping tool and scrape it around those grooves and curves. And again, I like to peel at an angle. Make sure that those negative spaces are sticking when you're peeling. And this is what it looks like. Quick little DIY project. Now you wanna make sure that with these tools you're actually popping these air bubbles and then Continuing to use the scraper tool to just scrape it out. So this is what it looks like. So for this last project, I actually just created this with literally shapes of three hearts. Um, I sized them to my liking. Then I used the text and then I sliced it and welded it all together. <clears throat> and this is the project that I came up with. I'm going to be using this different kind of pinkish purple vinyl. So for time's sake, I did it off camera. If you guys wanna see how I create designs like this, just um, comment below and I will show you guys. So I'm going to actually go to make it yet again. This is um, premium vinyl so you don't need to mirror. So I'm just gonna press continue. 
press vinyl then I'm going to load it and then press fast mode on my computer because I love fast mode and then press the blinking cricket button and take it off of the mat and start my weeding process. Again, I am using my tool that I got from Dollar Tree. So now that I'm done weeding, this is what the project looks like. So I'm going to grab my Cricut transfer tape and put it on there. So this is what it looks like. Now I'm just going to apply it to the bottle. So I'm just applying it to the bottle now. So I'm just going to push it in with my thumbs like that. So that is what it's looking like and I'm going to peel the transfer tape. So this is what the project looks like. So that is it for this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of how to use your Cricut to, you know, give good gifts and projects. You guys can really make very cool projects, so I'm just going to show you guys the final looks of all these projects. So first I'm going to show you the phone case, and I'm actually going to take off my current phone case. Don't laugh at the back of my phone because it is busted. I did drop it so many times, but this is what it looks like on the phone. And it says all things Nasia. Very cute personalized project. So that is the first item. Then here is the face mask. So I'm just going to model this for you guys really quickly. I think it came out really cute. For a dollar so that is that project and then this is the water bottle that I created all Cricut projects all from Dollar Tree and all very cute thank you guys so much for watching this video if you like this video do me a favor click that like button click that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already click on the notification bell because you will be able to be notified when I post new videos and everyone wants to see me post new videos right so thank you so much for supporting me you guys please like comment subscribe and share and I'll be back with another Cricut video very soon bye guys